When we do a lumpectomy, it's very important as surgeons that we handle that tissue correctly in order to make sure that the pathologist has every opportunity to describe the disease that they see and help us understand about the margins. So what's routine, what's procedure, is for the surgeon to orient the tissue so that the pathologist understands how it's sat within the breast. And we commonly will orient it with two directions, put sutures and show the pathologist how he can tell which part of the specimen was the top and the sides and the bottom and so on. In addition, all the surfaces of the specimen are inked and different colors are routinely used for all the different surfaces. That way, when the pathologist looks at the tissue under the microscope, they can tell us if there are cancer cells that are right next to an inked surface. That tells us whether or not the margin is involved or close. And also, we'll let this patho the pathologist specify to the surgeon which specific margins may be close or involved. So if a re-excision is necessary, we know exactly where to go back to address only the involved margins. When you talk to patients, they must be very upset if you tell them you have to go back to take out more tissue. It's very distressing to both the patient and the surgeon when a lumpectomy is performed and the margins are not adequate and it's not, there's not enough clear normal tissue around the cancer and a re-excision is necessary. And this is something that's a common problem throughout this field of breast surgery. So we at NYU are involved in a clinical trial right now. And this clinical trial is sponsored by a company called Dune Medical. And Dune has developed a device which is intended to look at the edges of a lumpectomy specimen in the operating room. And if this device is accurate, and we hope it will be, it will help us understand if additional tissue needs to be removed at the time of the lumpectomy because the cancer is at the edge of the tissue that was taken out in the main specimen. This clinical trial is being conducted at multiple centers across the U.S., in New York, uh, in Maryland, in California, etc. The device is called a margin probe. The device uses radio frequency spectroscopy. So when the lumpectomy specimen is removed, the surgeon handles it appropriately to make sure that we know what side is corresponding to what direction in the breast. And then the device is used to interrogate the tissue. So the device looks at all the surfaces of the lumpectomy specimen to try and help us determine if there is cancer at or near the margin so that additional tissue can be taken out at the same time and prevent the patient from needing another trip to the operating room to excise further tissue.